Greetings, friend. I'm going to show you how to solve one of the most advanced strategies in Sudoku that you're ever going to find. It's called the EXO set. I'm going to break this down, explain all the definitions, explain when to look for it in a puzzle, what you can eliminate by it. I'm putting in some content here from several different sources from some of the best setters in Sudoku in one video. Click below if you want to get the video and puzzle links. And with that, it's solving time. Okay, this is our first example. Valtteri by Shy. Now, I have covered this before. Simon Anthony solved it, and I did an analysis of solve. I'm going to break down each element of the exoset. All right, let's go for a basic definition. An exoset is an advanced Sudoku strategy where you identify if two cells in a puzzle can be duplicated in two other cells. This tutorial is going to focus on just junior exosets. Junior exosets focus on one band. So a band is three blocks in a row, either across horizontally or three vertically, which is also called a tower. So it focuses on one band and three rows or columns outside of the band and i'll show you that in just a bit this is a highly advanced strategy you only want to try this when nothing else works so in this particular puzzle that shy created she purposely put in an exoset and simon anthony got to the point where he had to use it to get some solves and this is the situation you can solve for five right here and with these two fives you can solve for a five right here with these two fives and this five. You can solve for a five right here. And then you're going to get pretty stuck. The only other thing you might want to note is that there's a flaming pair of eights right there. And so what draws you in is this middle. You got this one, two, three, four naked quad in row five. And this is kind of the basics and basis for this exoset. Okay, this can't be a one or two. And this cannot be a one. All right, and so what we are looking for here is when you want to see if you have an exoset, we do what's called the validation stage. And so we're going to first look for our base cells. These are the two cells you're trying to see if you can duplicate them somewhere else. So if you look right here, these two cells contain three different candidates, two, three, and four. So for a base cell to work, one, they got to be in the same band. Two, need to be in the same row or column. And three, it's only two to four candidates possible. All right, it's only going to be two to four candidates. So we have that. This is a possible candidate for our base cells. And then what we want to look for is called cross lines. So now we're looking for restrictions in other columns that may affect these two cells. The first cross line you're going to work on is you're going to go right through the column where the two within that block where the two base cells are not at. I'm going to color this blue. And every cell that's blue is called an S cell. Then you want to look for two other columns where there's a lot of these restrictions that are going to restrict to two, three, and four. And so right here, Column three and then column seven are two good candidates. And it's because of where these givens are in those columns. They'll help restrict our two, threes, and fours. So we just created our cross lines is what these blue lines are called. And the blue, the cells themselves are called S cells. Now what we want to do is we want to make a test. We want to see if there's a restriction to how many twos, threes, and fours we can put in these rows of these cross lines outside the band. So you notice there's a two right here. That means two can't be in any of those cells. And there's a two right here, it can't be in those cells. So a two is limited to two of the rows in the cross lines. Good, and you cannot have it more than two of those rows. Now you notice you have a three here and here. So the threes are limited to just two rows, rows one and seven of the cross lines. And now you got a four here and here, which limits the fours to just two rows, rows three and seven in the cross lines. So 
you have the restrictions you need. And what's important about this is since it's only two rows, that means you know we need twos, and you know, we need three twos to cover these three blue columns. Are you sure you can agree with me on that? And so two of the twos can only come from the blue cells, as we just noticed, because they can only available in two of the rows. The third two, it's either got to be in one of these cells right here, or it's got to be here. Okay, it has to be in those cells, and so that's the restriction that we're putting on this because there's only two out here. One of them's got to be in this area here, and if they're in one of these cells, it's going to block where it can be here. Hopefully, you're understanding that that there's quite the restriction of where to put the twos or the threes or the fours that they have to be in one of those cells. Okay, so we have invalidated that this can be an exoset. There's two other things we gotta check for just to make sure. So now we gotta see these two cells look in this cross line where it doesn't see. So right here, this can be, looks like a one, two, three, four, seven or nine okay and then this cell up here can be two three four or a six these are our target cells when you we had the situation where the two three and fours are limited in the blue cell so one of them's got to be here basically if a two is here then it can't be in either one of those cells so then it would have to be here or here hopefully that makes sense to you we got to have that situation so what we want to do is see what we can do and make sure that these target cells are only going to be the same as our base cells. So something else you need here is what's called a companion cell. So it's something in the same column, in the same band, that is not a 2, 3, or 4. And since Shai already filled in 8 right here, that works for us because now it further restricts where these digits can be. Just like right here, you got this five. So these, this five and eight are called companion cells, and you need those. Uh, if they weren't filled in with five or eight, they just cannot be a one, two, three, or four, okay? And then these purple cells are target cells. They can contain two, three, and four. They have to, at least, and some additional candidates. I'll show you what we do with those additional candidates in just a bit. Other thing we look for is called our mirror cells, okay? So if we have, you know, two here, and then we know a two's got to be in one of these cells, well, this cell here would need to be mirrored over here in this band. Can't be here because this would be the opposite of whatever one that cell is. So one of these cells right here has got to be the mirror. It's going to be the same digit as right here because that digit's going to cut across this row, and it's got to be in one of these spots cutting across this row and it can't be here because that's the other digit so that's the mirror and then this is called the mirror cell as well so this is going to mirror this can't because this can't this cell you know whatever the value is got to be here and then it's going to be in there and so these have to be the mirror cells it's very important to kind of show all these things and again i'm breaking it down i'm putting it on the sides on the right to help you understand it will make more sense we have validated this is a good exoset because of the restrictions that have been placed on this puzzle. So now we can make some eliminations. First elimination we can make is since we know that these purple cells have to be the same as these orange, we can eliminate everything outside of two, three, and four. So we know this has to be a six. Uh, this cannot be a six. This has to eliminate a six from here, and then you can eliminate the one seven and nine from there. All right. Next thing we can look at is since we eliminate that, you'll probably notice you have a six here and these two sixes, this cell right here, it's gotta be a six, okay? And so what this means is this cell is gonna be mirrored in this cell right here because this is not a six. And since there's already a three, this has to be a two or a four, which tells us now we can actually go back and eliminate the three from right here. This can only be a two or a four now. 
We're not sure which one of these is the two of the two, three, four candidates just yet. However, since we have the six, eight here, and we have the six, eight here, we know now the six and eight are limited to these two cells. So we can get rid of those fours. And so with this four here, we can actually solve this cell for a four, which solves itself for a two. And remember, this was a mirror of this cell. So now you can solve that cell for a two, and you can eliminate the two from right there and right there. And then you can move on and actually know, well, since this has to be one of these two digits, solve for two right there. And then since you have this three, four here, we know the three and four can't be, the mirror cell can't be this one, it has to be this one. So that can only be a three or a four. And then from here, you can go on and do the rest of Valtteri. But before I move on to my next example, where I'm gonna show you some more great eliminations, I do want you to click on the pink comment below and check out my Buy Me A Coffee page. Please consider supporting me. I use this to help great, create better content. Uh, join the Smarty Party and get some membership packs. I do puzzle packs for some of the greatest setters, also ones that I create myself. that will give you more value and solve more great puzzles and advanced strategies. Not as advanced as Exoset, but still a lot of fun and some great theming. Click on that comment below. Now, let's move on to the next example. All right, for our next example, this puzzle was something that I saw on the Sudokult discussion, number five, about Exoset. Philip Newman was showing ranks how to apply exosets. And so he comes to this puzzle, which is a brutally hard puzzle. You try to solve this, you're not going to get very far. And but you can make some progress if you find the exoset. And so what you want to look at here again is you're looking for some you know restrictions. In particular, you might notice that there are quite a bit of the same digits, four, five, six, seven, three, four, five, six, seven, in these three columns. So that should give you a little suspicious about what we can do. And since one of the columns is right here, now we can look at these two cells as maybe our base cells. So these cells can be a one, two, eight, or nine. So they're in the same row, they're in a band, no more than four candidates, two to four candidates. So these are potential base cells. Now we wanna see if we can duplicate these cells somewhere else here in this band. Again, we have a lot of these digits here in this column. So we're gonna look at that as a cross line, and then we're gonna look here in column three for a cross line. You'll notice now that the available cells are limited to rows one, two, and seven in these three columns, columns three, five, and eight. Okay, now we wanna look and do our tests for this one, two, eight, nine. Do they only appear in two rows outside of the band? And so the ones, you'll notice because there's a one right here, it can only appear in these two rows, rows two and eight, so that's easy. The two, two's right here, can only appear in most two of the rows right there. The eight, you'll see right here, and the nine, not be in any in this row eight anymore so we can show that the eight and nine can appear at most two rows in the these three cross lines okay this means that there's a restriction on the one two eight nine where one of those has to be in these cells here all right so we have validated and go yes this is a good potential this is a setup for an exoset other thing we gotta check for, do we have what valid target cells? And you'll look, if you cut across here, we gotta look in this column, the only cell we can use for target cells right there. So that's a one, two, eight, or nine. Okay, great. And then you wanna look, got this row, got this target cell. Look in here, can't be here because it can't be in the same row as our base cells. So it could be right here. And it looks like this could be a one, two, four, eight, or nine. Okay, so that'd be our other target cell. Now, do we have a companion cell that can't be one, two, eight, or nine? Yes, we have a companion cell right here for this cell, and we have a companion cell three right here for this cell. So we'll color those red. Those help us keep the restrictions that we need for this exoset. 
Now let's look for our mirror cells, right? One of the digits has got to be here. That would be right here. And so the mirror for this cell would be in one of these two cells right there. Obviously, it can't be the six. We can just eliminate that. So this has to be the mirror cell. And it's going to be of a one, two, eight, or nine. And I'll get to the eliminations in just a bit. Where's the mirror cell for this one? Well, you know, if one of if it's here, if this base, this target cell is the same, then the other mirror's got to be in one of these two cells here. And what you'll notice is that you have two sixes here. So one of those cells actually has to be a six. And so now we can make a deduction and go, since one of these has to be a six, the other has to be the mirror that we're looking for. So the other has to be a one, two, eight, or nine. All right, so this is all the validation stage. Now we move on to the elimination stage. So the elimination stage, what do we know? We know we can eliminate a four from right here because it has to be one of these two digits and it can only be one, two, eight, or nine. Got to be one of these two cells. Great. Now we know with this mirror cell, with this eight, nine here, you can eliminate the eight, nine from right there. Since this mirrors this cell right here, you can eliminate the 8, 9 from there as well. That can only be a 1 or a 2. And so we get a little bit more information. And then these two cells can only be 1, 2, 6, 8, or 9. So one of them's got to be a 6, and the other one's got to be a 1, 2, 8, or 9. And so what we end up doing is eliminating a 5. A 5 can no longer be in these mirror cells. And so then the 5 should be here as a pointing pair. And then the fives will be in one of these two cells right there. Okay, so I just showed you again another junior exoset. I showed you how to find and validate it, how to set up your target cells, how to set up your mirror cells, your companion cells, and then what eliminations you could make. Unfortunately, you can't make too many more eliminations, and it is a brutally hard puzzle. If you want a hint, then I can tell you that this cell is an eight. Knowing that, you can actually make progress and possibly solve it. Other than that, it's a very tough thing to do. Okay, but I wanted to show this so that you can understand how to set up and look for a junior exoset. Now, let's move on to our last example. Okay, for our last example, I'm going to give you a vertical junior exoset. The first two were pretty horizontal as far as what band we're looking at. This one's going to be vertical. This is from the top of your website, very good source. I'll put a link in the description below on how to understand these exosets. Good instructions. This is one of the diagrams that kind of explains what to look for. Unfortunately, there's no video content on top here, so I'm trying to improve upon that by showing you in real time how to set up the exoset. And so with this puzzle, you can make a couple of solves. With these ones here and here, you make for one right there with these fours and this four. You can solve for four here. And then with this one and this one coming up, you have a pointing pair of ones. And so if you look in column seven, the only place for a one, they can't be here because this one, can't be here for the pointing pair or here because this one, it can't be here because of this one. You can solve for one right there. Other than that, you're gonna get pretty stuck without looking for and finding the exoset. So let's see if you can help find this one. Like I said, it's gonna be a, it's gonna be vertical this time. So what we notice is you have quite a few similar candidates and restrictions for these given in these cells in rows three, five, and seven. Okay. So we want to look here in the bands. All right. We look here in the bands. Let's look at these two cells. And you'll notice they can only be two, three, five, or seven. And we can actually eliminate the three from right there. So they're in the same column, they're in the same bands, and they're no more than four candidates, two to four candidates. Those would be good base cells. Now we need to validate that this is going to work. Now, what we want to look at is we're going to set up our three cross lines. The first cross line would be in the same band coming out of the row that the target cell, the base cells, excuse me, are not in. Okay. Next one we look at again when we have multiple restrictions in a difference block, and then the last one in the last block here. So we want to look two, three, five, seven. We're going to cut in the columns. 
So the two and the three, you'll see they're already here in column three. So at most, the two and three can be in two columns in our cross lines in these S cells. So column four and column six. Five is right here. So the five can be at most two columns, columns three and six. And then the seven, you have it right here, can be at most in two columns, columns three and four. So there's enough of a restriction in the two, three, five, and seven that there are only two of them can be filled in these blue cells. So one of them has to be here or it's gonna to need to be in this area. All right, we have validated that an exoset situation exists here. So now we need to accept the rest of the exoset. What's going to be our target cells? Since the 2357 are in column 8, we look here in this row and go, okay, it's got to be one of these. And so you see 2357 already, and that's going to be purple. So that's one of our target cells. The other target cell is going to be in the other block of the bands in the same cross line. All right, and so we look right here and we go, this can be a two, three, five, seven, or a nine. Great, now, do we have companion cells that can't be two, three, five, seven in that block in that cross line? We sure do, we got an eight right there and we got an eight right here for this target cell. So I'll put those in red. Basically it prevents two, three, five, seven from being in those two cells. We're good to go there. Now let's look at our mirror cells. Okay, the first mirror cell, the mirror for here, remember if this was whatever this cell value is, couldn't be anywhere else along this column. Then one of them has to be here, couldn't be down this column. And it can't be here because this is the other target cell. So this would be your mirror. Okay, and right now you can see that it could be a two, three, five, seven, or nine. And then we look right here and go, this would be the mirror for this target cell. So that could be three, five, six, or a seven. All right, and so we put those mirror cells in our green. Now we've done the validation. We're gonna do our elimination stage. First thing you wanna do is our target cells can only be two, three, five, seven. So we can eliminate a nine from right there. Great. Now. We can look at our mirror cell and what you notice is one the mirror two three five seven we can eliminate the nine from right there it can't be two three five seven and then since this is a two three five seven this cell cannot contain a six anymore we can eliminate that because it has to be one of these values that matches one of these values so you can eliminate the six from right there and since this can't be a two we know this is a mirror of this cell this cell can no longer be a two. So we can make all of those eliminations. And this is great stuff. Because after we make all those eliminations and all this is part of finding that junior exoset, now we can do some solving. What you might notice is because of this six and these two sixes, the only place left for a six in block six is right here. And then since you have a nine here covering these three cells, the only place left for a nine in column nine is right there. And from there, you can start to make some more solving. There's going to be at least one more advanced strategy, but now you're well on your way to cracking this very difficult puzzle. You want to see a cool variation on an exoset? Check out this video. Please consider supporting me through my Buy Me a Coffee page, and thank you so much for watching.